Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the home bookkeeper, and on this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online, while also sharing insightful videos on all things business ownership and finance. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up vendors in QuickBooks Online, along with how to add vendors manually and import vendor information from an Excel comma separated values or CSV file or a Google Sheet file. You will also learn how to inactivate a vendor if you're no longer doing business with them. When setting up vendors in QuickBooks Online, you only need to enter their names to save their records. However, it's best to gather as much information as possible about your new vendors, including the following. A company name, a contact name, address, email address, phone numbers, the rate you pay to service vendors, the rate you charge your clients for service vendors work, the amount you owe the vendor prior to the start of using QuickBooks Online, along with their employer identification number or their EIN. Ensure that your vendor list is either in Excel, CSV, or a Google Sheets file. If you're currently using a different program to manage your vendors, you can save a lot of time by exporting your vendor information from that program, which I will discuss later in part two of this tutorial. To navigate to the Vendor Center, click on Expenses and then the Vendors tab from the left-hand side toolbar. If you're seeing a different navigation menu, then that might mean you're in the wrong user view. QuickBooks Online has two user views, Business View and Accountant View. Your left side navigation menu or your left-hand side toolbar may look different depending on your user view. If your sidebar menu is not what is shown in this tutorial, it means that you are in business view. To verify whether you're using the business view, click on the cog wheel at the top right hand corner of your QuickBooks Online dashboard and check whether the button on the lower right hand side says switch to accountant view. If so, then it means you are on the business view. To create a new vendor, click on the green New Vendor button in the top right hand corner of the Vendor Center to enter the vendor information manually. On the New Vendor screen, enter as much information as possible for your new vendor. There are a few important fields in the New Vendor Setup form. First up, we have Name and Contact. Enter the company name and your contact name. You can also select a vendor display name. This field will automatically populate based on the information entered in the company name field, but can be changed if you wish. This is how your vendor will show up on your vendor list in QuickBooks Online. Next, we have contact information. You can enter all the vendor's contact information for easy future reference. You may add their email address, phone and mobile numbers, and even their website address. Now, select what name to print on checks. When you write checks to pay vendor bills, the payee information will come from here. Type the payee name here if it's different from the vendor name. Scrolling down, you have the addressed field. This should be the address where you need to mail your vendor payments. You'll be asked to enter the street name, city, state, zip code, and country. Next are notes and attachments. You can add notes to enter additional information in your vendor reports. You can also attach vendor documents, such as contracts, W-9 forms, proof of insurance, they all can be dragged and dropped to this screen to attach them to the vendor information screen for easy reference. 
the IRS no longer requires you to have physical hard copy documents. So it is perfectly fine to save everything digitally in your QuickBooks online profile. Lastly, there's additional information. Don't forget about taxes. Enter the vendor's business ID or social security number from your W-9 form and check the box to track payments for 1099. Now go ahead and enter their expense rates. This is the amount the vendor charges you for their services on an hourly basis. Not all vendors will have an hourly billing rate. If a vendor changes a flat fee for their services or if you have negotiated a different billing arrangement with them, you can leave this field blank. Now select the payment terms. This is where you can specify the payment terms that you have agreed to with the vendor. For example, if you agreed to pay the vendor within 30 days of receiving their invoice, you should select net 30. And lastly, there's an account number. Input your account number with the vendor to print on all of the checks automatically. Now there is a default expense category. This is where you can specify the default expense category that should be used when entering transactions for this vendor. When you're finished, click the green save button to record your new vendor. The new vendor will now appear in the vendor center. Click on the vendor's name to go to the vendor information screen. Within the vendor information screen, click the edit button in the upper right corner if you wish to make any changes to the vendor information. The vendor setup form you previously used will show up and you can make any changes you wish to make. When you're finished, click the save button. Make sure you stay tuned as my next video will be part two, how to import vendor information into QuickBooks Online. For more business resources, my online self-paced home bookkeeper masterclass, business supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources linked below in the description. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. If you have any video or tutorial requests, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you need more assistance, private QuickBooks Online coaching, or bookkeeping and payroll management, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship or personal wealth building journey.